Indonesian President Joko Widodo today received a courtesy call from Saudi Arabian Foreign Minister Prince Faisal bin Farhan Al Saud. The meeting discussed many things from people's interests to economy. In the meeting taking place at Merdeka Palace, Jakarta, Tuesday morning, President Joko Widodo was accompanied by Indonesian Foreign Minister Ratno Marsudi and Cabinet Secretary Pramono Anung, while Saudi Arabian Foreign Minister Prince Faisal bin Farhan Al Saud was accompanied by Saudi Arabia's ambassador to Indonesia, Esam Abid al Taghafi. Minister Ratno Marsudi said there were at least four things discussed by President Jokowi and the Saudi Arabian Foreign Minister. First, President Jokowi appreciates the implementation of the Hajj after being suspended for two years due to the pandemic. He also mentioned Indonesia's plan to build an Indonesian house in Mekah, Saudi Arabia, to maximally support Indonesian Hajj pilgrims. Furthermore, Jokowi talked about economic cooperation between the two countries, one of which is on energy transition field. And lastly, Minister Ratno has reported to President Jokowi that Saudi Arabia authorities have revoked its previous policy for barring its citizens from visiting Indonesia. Ukraine's ambassador to Israel urged his host country on Tuesday to provide its coveted Iron Dome missile defense system to help protect civilian lives in its war with Russia. Ukraine's ambassador to Israel, Yevgen Kornichuk, fell short of accusing Israel of blocking the sale of the weapon, but said he wanted the Israeli government to back up its verbal support of Ukraine with military assistance. He also expressed his belief that the United States would not oppose the sale of the Iron Dome a condition for any country seeking to purchase the weapon. Previously, President Joe Biden's administration announced it would give Ukraine a small number of high-tech, medium-range rocket systems, a weapon that Ukraine has long wanted. Since the war began on February 24th, the White House has approved shipping drones, anti-tank and anti-aircraft systems, and millions of rounds of ammunition.